Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tara Stoddard. Every Tuesday I come on here and we do our nails together. Um, so please subscribe to my channel. And if you're not in my Facebook group yet, I'm gonna link that in the description. Um, everybody has been posting their nail fees this week and participating on the posts that I do. It's been a lot of fun. So if you're not in there, get in there um, and post your own nail fees. I have to get a drink really fast. I'm so sorry. This medication I'm on makes my, my throat or my mouth super, super dry. So I might have to stop. And yeah, if you're new here, I'm always a hot mess and, uh, sorry, not sorry. I, I don't edit my videos. <laughs> it's, it's just me. You get me. Um, okay. So last week I had somebody in the comments, Jess, if you're watching, this is for you. Um, they wanted to know what I use in my little, I think they noticed my little storage container. I do have a video on this from last year. Um, several, several videos back, but this is what I keep all my nail stuff in. It has this handy little handle. It's tiny. As you can see, it's pretty small. I found this at Dollar Tree for a dollar. It was, it's meant to be like a pencil container, like a school kind of thing, but it fits all of my stuff perfectly. I have my nail clippers. I've got um, my cuticle oil. I have, oh, throwing things. I have my cuticle sticks in here, um, more nail files. I have my, my little, um, my, my little sticks that I do the, you know, things on. Um, I got my color street, little buffer block in here. I got my, um, nail polish remover clips. I talk about these all the time in my Facebook group. I love them. If you're not using this to remove your color street, you need to, you can find them on Amazon. Um, also from Dollar Tree, I put my mineral fusion, um, into these because it has a little pump and it's just so easy to use, um, when I'm removing my polish. So yep, just a buck. It works perfect. It comes in pretty colors. Um, I don't know if you can find these all the time. You might have to wait until about August or September, um, to get yours. I think that's, that's around the time I got mine. Okay. Other thing before we get into the nails, you guys, these just came in the mail. This is the May Hostess exclusive set. The, you know, the incentive for hosting a nail bar. Um, this is called Pink Paradise. It is a super, super gorgeous, almost like a chrome looking pink. I mean, it doesn't really change color, but it's, I need to wear this one. I feel like I need to wear it. I'm trying to hold off and not wear it um, and use these for something special. I don't know. I don't know if I can do that because I love pink and I love glitter and they're just so pretty. It's so pretty. Is this considered a glitter? Yeah. Um, it's a very fine, fine glitter. It's, it's an amazing color. It's so pretty. Um, okay. The other thing, what was I going to say? The other thing, oh my gosh, I got this in the mail yesterday. Color Street spoils us. If you work your business, um, and you bonus, what they call bonus qualifying, um, they had an incentive. If you've bonus qualified three months in a row, um, you earned... Dun, dun, dun. This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, gorgeous bracelet. Um, this like pulls down, you know, to adjust. Um, and it is, oh, what is that called? You know, I'm terrible with names, you guys. Um, Northern Wonder? Was it Northern Wonder? Um, in there. So, so pretty. These are my colors. If you don't know, these are my colors. I love the purplish, bluish and silver. Like I love silver jewelry. Um, I think the past couple times I ended up getting gold ones, um, cause they would send out like gold and silver. And I always ended up getting the gold, which I don't usually wear. I love them still. Um, and I'll wear them to the, to, uh, events, but silver is my jam. Um, so I just got that yesterday. So I'm super excited about it. Maybe I should put it on. Um, I haven't opened it opened it, opened it yet. The other thing that came yesterday is, oh, I should have, I should have separated these before. 
before doing this. Okay. The Americana Collection came. Look at how pretty. I Why didn't I realize this one was a glitter? Or maybe it was the other one. No, this one. I didn't realize it was a glitter. I thought it was just a regular nail art with no glitter, like maybe a shimmer to it. No, it's a glitter. It almost looks very similar to Home Sweet Home. Um, I haven't put it on. I haven't seen it worn yet. So I'm not sure. It might, it might be sheer. It might not be. I don't know. Um, this one is called American Dream. And then we got, um, this is a clear overlay. Love clear overlays. Love them. This one is called Bandana Republic. It is so amazing on because on these ones, which I'm actually going to put this one on, um, you can see the color through these and they look so good over super bright colors. I've seen it over um, this one. Oh my gosh, it's so good over that one. I kind of want to do it, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it over that. Um, it does look amazing over till the glitter end though. So good. Um, then we got this blue jean looking one. It is called Blue Jean Baby. And last but not least, last but not least, we got Glitz and Glory. Uh, this one I knew was glitter. You can, you can really see the, the, um, chunkier glitter in this one. So good. Um, all right. So let's get right into today's manicure. That's what you're here for, right? Um, okay. So I went live yesterday, took my nail polish off in my Facebook group. Um, and I had a little discussion with, um, some people who caught me live and I told them that I was probably going to get in the Americana collection in yesterday and I did thank goodness um and they suggested that I do um bandana republic over something um we were talking about pinks and I said oh maybe I will do are you madriding me um it's a bright pink color not bright bright but it is a it's a brighter pink color and I have not worn this color yet. I really like this color. I don't think I've worn it. I always say that with such like, I know I didn't wear it, but yeah, somebody will show me a picture of where, where I ended, where I wore it. Um, I don't think I did though. I don't think I've worn this one. Um, and I thought that this would look so cute with it, um, as like a accent nail. Um, this is Belgian Buttercup. I'm pretty sure I've never worn this one either. Don't quote me because my memory is terrible. All right, so <clears throat> I haven't really thought about how I want to do this. So you're watching, you're catching it as I'm doing it. Um, I'm going to pull up my sleeves for this. Okay, so I think I'm going to do mostly, are you majority me, on most of the nails. Um, and then maybe do this as like an accent nail on maybe one, maybe two, maybe I'll do like pointer finger, ring finger. Mm, we'll see. We'll see. I might even change it up and do something on, on two, on both, Ugh, you know, two different hands. Do something different in each hand is what I'm saying. There goes my mouth being dry again. I'm so sorry. Mm. Oh my gosh, I'm making a mess. <laughs> uh, I am always a mess, even medicated. I swear I started, I started ADHD medication. Um, I'm pretty sure it's kicked in by now. <laughs> and I'm still a mess. I'm still a mess. Um, it is working for me though, you guys. It's oh my gosh. Cause I so with ADHD, and before I even knew or realized that's what it was, um, I would make careless mistakes. And some of you might have even been the victim of my mistakes. I sent one time, I invoiced. Luckily, it's a um, longtime Facebook friend. She knows me. She knows my struggles. Um, I accidentally sent her an invoice for $3. I think I only charged her shipping. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I forgot to charge her, you know, for the sets that she ordered from my on-hand stock. Um, and she's like, did you mean to do this? I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I think I've told that before. Um, but just careless mistakes like that. It's been really bad. I mean, it has affected my life big time. Um, it's so embarrassing, but one time I even had my electricity shut off on me because I could swear that I paid a bill and it turns out, no, no, you did not. Um, even though I write it down in my planner and check it off, um, saying that I did and I will swear up and down that I did and Nope. And then my power got shut off and I'm like, Oh my gosh, I didn't pay my bill. Um, oh man. And then I had to pay like a reconnection fee. Oh, so yeah. ADHD is not only a huge inconvenience for me, but it costs me money. Um, it's, I'm really hoping that the medication that I'm on really, you know, helps with my focus and helps me actually do things start to finish. Um, so far, I've been on it for just over a week now, and I do think that it's helping a lot in those areas. Um, anyway, but it makes my mouth so dry. Okay. Oh, here we go. Got the pinkies on. Um, I think what I'm going to do, and why am I not using my nail file? I should be using my nail file to take these off. I prefer it. I feel like it seals like the, the polish to my nail, um, like on the ends. I feel like it just works better than me pinching it off or like perforating it. I hate that noise though. Blech. Okay. Mm. And then I have these little get off things. Oh, I usually say, I usually let you guys know why I didn't use the alcohol wipe. Um, if you're watching and you didn't just wash your hands, make sure you use an alcohol prep pad to clean off any dirt or oils. Um, I tend to just wash my hands before I get on here. So that's why I didn't use it. I usually say that. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do... Let's see, these ones would have been my middle, or not my middle, my ring finger. This one is for my pointer. This one is for my middle finger. Pointer, middle. Okay, these are my middle. So I'm gonna do these ones. Am I gonna do my pointer? I don't know. I'm for sure gonna do these ones. And let's just see how it looks um, and go from the, oh, oh, no, 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 no. I got that way too close to my cuticle. Oh, you gotta be careful. You, these are repositionable. If you're really careful, I've torn it before. Um, trying to get it just right. I can't stand it when I touch my cuticle because when they start growing out, you get that little lift underneath. Um, and there's a trick where you can like dip a Q-tip into some nail polish remover and like go around it to kind of seal that down. Y'all know I'm lazy though, right? <laughs> I don't do that. So then it just bothers me and I let it go forever. And um, yeah, and then I just deal with it and it gets caught in my hair. Ugh, it's so annoying. Okay. Um, and that happens a lot, especially when I'm doing multiple layers, especially if I'm doing a clear overlay and I can't really see that it's touching my cuticle. Um, so here we go. That one's kind of close, but I think it'll be okay. Oh man, solids are not my friend. Mm, there's a wrinkle, but you know what? It's okay. It's all right. I'm going to be the only one to notice it, especially because I'm putting a clear overlay over this. You're not going to see. Oh, there's a big fat wrinkle right there. Mm, no. 
it's gonna bother me though. <laughs> it's okay though, it's okay. All right, that one I got a little bit, a little bit too close on that side. And then we're gonna use the nail file to take off the excess. Come on, kind of rip that instead of taking it off of the file. Okay, I'm gonna cover it up. It's gonna be fine. I'm gonna cover it up. Um, let's do thumbnails. All right, what are you all wearing this week? You wearing anything fun? Do you have some kind of mixed mani going on? I don't typically do mixed manis because they take a long time and I don't have the kind of time. I actually really don't have time today. <laughs> Um, I have a lunch date with a Color Street friend. That's one thing I love about Color Street is that you can make friends. Um, you know, as an adult, it's so hard to make friends, um, especially for those of us who don't work outside of the home. Um, I don't have a whole lot of opportunity. Like I go to the gym, but I keep to myself. Um, I don't talk to anybody while I'm there and I have noise canceling, um, AirPods in and I can't hear anybody anyway, even if they were talking to me. Um, but that's why I love color street because you know, you got like this built in team, even if they're not on your team. Like I have met just through starting this channel. Even I have met several stylists, um, who are not on my team. They're not on my, in my uplines team. They might be, I don't know. Um, but it's just like a, you know, you meet each other and you have something in common. Um, <clears throat> so I am actually meeting up with somebody who she's, or kind of like, uh, she's under one of my upline teams. Um, like way far up so we're n we're like not um we're not really connected at all but we met i don't even remember how we met um was it i don't even remember in maybe in our upland group oh excuse me my throat is so dry maybe in our upland group mm. um I don't know. Anyway, we hung out at the leader summit because um, we didn't really know anybody. And she's in St. Louis right now. They were at a conference um, for something unrelated to Color Street. And she said, hey, I'm in town for the next couple days. Why don't we grab some lunch, meet up? So I better hurry because um, that's coming up soon. I have to leave in like 40 minutes. <laughs> Um, oh, that's one thing that the medication is really helping me with. I, as somebody with ADHD, I have like no concept of time. And had I not been medicated right now, um, I would not be able to do anything before meeting up with her. I would be like, oh no, I have, you know, I have this 11 o'clock appointment with her and, um... I can't possibly do anything else until, until then, but I am so proud of myself. I got up, I, um, went to the gym, I showered, I almost didn't go to the gym, I showered, got ready for the day. And then I was like, you know what? I could record my video for today's, today's manicure. Um, I have time. It's like that time, like the time blindness kind of is going away. Um, so I'm excited about that because I, you know, before medication, and I know medication is not for everybody. I'm not trying to push it on anyone, um, but it is really helping me. And before, um, I had no idea that neurotypical people had this many workable hours in their day. It is mind blowing to me um, that people just, you know, they have all these, this time. I had no clue. <laughs> I 
I know it sounds, it sounds weird. Um, maybe I'm not making any sense to anybody else. Uh, anyway, here we go. Okay. I'm going to see what this yellow, oh, I hate these little things at the end. Um, let's see what this yellow looks like. I think I'm going to love it when I put the clear overlay on. You can see all my imperfections. This is why I cannot wear solids by themselves because my nails are just, they're bumpy. They're lumpy and bumpy and you can see everything through it. But put on a clear overlay or put on a glitter overlay. Yes, that's how I can wear solids. I'm so jealous of the people who can just wear a solid color um, like it's nothing. You can even double these up. I just never have. I I need something more than just plain color. I spent too many years with li liquid nail polish, doing my own nails, nothing fancy, um, and just super plain with Color Street. I have definitely stepped out of my comfort zone of solids, and I prefer having some kind of, you know, something fun. And why not? Color Street makes it so easy to do stuff like this. I think that's why. It's just because it's so easy for me. Although I'm kind of making it a little bit, a little bit complicated since I'm doing all of these. I typically don't. I like the sets that have, um, you know, the different, like there's solids. I, I tore that one. Ugh. That's okay. Um, but yeah, like the nail art that has all the different, especially glitter nail art, um, that has like a solid in it and then it has, you know, some kind of fun, fun thing. Now, mm, do I want, do I want to do my pointers yellow or do I want to do them pink? I feel like I can't decide yet. I feel like I need to maybe, let's, oh, I did not open that very well, did I? I feel like I need to, I am just butchering this. <laughs> Why is this one so hard to open? Come on. Oh, okay. <laughs> I destroyed that. It's usually not that hard to open. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my, 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 my. Okay, we're going to put that to the side. We're going to put... Ooh, we're going to put that over here. We're going to put that over there. All right. Where's the little notch? Here we go. Okay, let's see. Ooh, this is going to be so fun. Okay, we're going to put this on our pinkies. I love how they're all just, they're all different. I mean, not all, you know, you know what I mean. There's two different, two different ones. <gasps> see how it's clear? Oh my gosh, can you see? Ah, it's clear. Clear with the black and you, you're going to be able to see through it. Oh my gosh, wait, if you have not seen this yet. Oh, wait till I get it on. <gasps> oh, it's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my gosh. Transformation. Oh, that's so good. Okay. Let's, let's get off the excess so we can really see what this looks like. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, it's so good. It's like just enough pink showing through. Mm, I love it. Okay. Do I want to do Yes, I do. I want to do this over the yellow. And why do I have yellow on the tip of my thumbnail over here? Okay, we're going to do this on our ring finger. I'm going to have so much left over. It'll just go into my freezer stash. FYI, I, I have to say these are one-time use only. Um, so... Yeah, there's no guarantee if you save them that it's going to work again. I do have a little freezer stash, though. And there's no guarantee that my freezer stash will even work when I want it to, when I try to use it next. This is a little bit thicker than the solids. 
It feels really thick. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, I think, okay, let's, let's do the other side and then I'll let you know what I'm thinking. My mouth is going dry again. I'm glad I grabbed my water. I almost got on here and I almost started recording and I was like, nope, I'm gonna want that. I'm gonna want my water bottle close by because it's just been so bad. It's been so bad. But I'm very, very thankful that that's the only like side effect that I've had. I'm very lucky. Finding the right medication, no matter what you are dealing with, it can be a little bit of a trial and error because, you know, everybody's body reacts differently. Okay, these are definitely like thick. I don't know if it's just this set or what. Like, I'm trying not to rip it. Just get off. Okay. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. We're going to do ring finger. And I got to hurry because I'm supposed to be leaving. Uh, I might have to upload this after. On my Facebook live yesterday, I said that I was going to try to do it really early. And I am recording it early. I'm recording it early, but I might have to wait till I get back after my, my lunch. I'm kind of excited. We're going to a place that my husband would never, ever want me to go. It's I've never tried it before, so I don't know if it's going to be good. Um, but it's like this cute little, it's called The Barn. And as soon as I told my husband that the name of it, he's like, oh my gosh, I'm glad that you're not making me go to it. It doesn't sound like his kind of place. Um, oh, let me see. I think I'm going to do, let's do this. We're going to do this one for the middle finger. Even though this, mm, do I? Oh my gosh. Dilemma, dilemma. This one usually goes on my middle finger and this one goes on this one. You know what? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do what fits my nails. It's okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my gosh. Blah, blah, blah. Sorry, I'm a mess. <laughs> Always. Always. I don't think I will ever not be. Okay, we're gonna do this one for the middle finger. And then I'm thinking I'm gonna do these pink now with this with this one what do you guys think and then this no I I don't know okay we'll get we'll get to the thumbs in a minute okay come on let's see I think this is gonna be really pretty when I'm done I'm so excited I'm so glad I went with this one. Whoever suggested it, I think it was Melissa was the first to suggest I would do this one. Um, awesome, awesome suggestion. I really didn't think that I was going to like this clear overlay as much as I do. And I haven't checked, so I don't know if it's still in stock or not. And I don't think I grabbed enough. Like, I... I think I bought just two of them and I'm using up one right now. Um, I think if they're still in stock, I think I need to get more. I think you all need to get some um, because like I, I want to use it over a, like an ombre, like till the glitter end. I know I wore that one already, um, but it would be, it'd be different. Maybe, oh my gosh, I bet it would look really pretty over um, Long Time No See or Coral Bay. Any of those ombre, um, am I even seeing that right? Any of those ones. Oh my gosh, it looks so good, you guys. It looks so good. I am loving this. I'm loving this so much. Um, we're going to do, we're going to do pointers, pink. Yes. Were these my pointers? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure these ones are. Get off. Okay. Here we go. Oh man, these are so different than, like these are these are really thin 
compared to these overlays, which are a little bit thicker. I hope you guys can't hear my children out there. Uh, they've been fighting today. Not really fighting, but just like bickering with each other, which is expected. Um, you know, I have older boys. Um, they're 14 and 12. And then my youngest is five. He's about to be six. So, you know, the typical like little brother, big brother, like get out of my stuff kind of thing. They love each other though. My kids are really close. I'm really happy that they are as close as they are. Okay. Pointers. I think I'm gonna get out of here with just enough time. Maybe I will try to upload this. There we go. You know, I when I first started doing this, I used to try to record like ahead of time. Um, and that way on Tuesdays, I can just upload it when I want. But I kind of like talking to you guys in real time. Um, you know, and answering any questions from the week before. And I just kind of worked this into my schedule. And I took off more than I should have on this one. That's okay. It's okay. It's gonna be covered. Actually, it won't be covered because it's gonna be clear on top. That's okay. I'm gonna be the only one to notice it, and I can use my nail file to trim it down. Um. Anyway. Yeah. So I I like to be able to answer questions from last week, or you know, chat with you guys like week to week. Um. And since I don't edit these, I feel like it's more personal. I guess. Um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Authentic? Is that the word? I don't know. Um, and I want to encourage, I know I have so many stylists who have joined my Facebook group, um, and who watch these videos. And I really appreciate you guys too. Not just, you know, not just my customers. Um, I love interacting with you all and I want to encourage any of you stylists who might be watching this to put yourselves out there. I know it is scary. Um, I know how scary it is to go live. Like I still have issues with going live in my Facebook group and talking to you all there live um, you know, knowing that you're watching me real time, like this is, I feel like this is a little bit easier. You know, I'm just showing you my hands. You can't see what a hot mess I, I am actually in person, um, you know, face to face anyway. Um, but yeah, if you're a stylist, put yourself out there, especially, you know, your people who are, you know, originally in your Facebook group, they're you typically people who already know, like, and trust you. And, um, you know, that's where it's, I guess, the safest, feels the safest anyway. Mm, then again, you know, I don't know, sometimes, like, we're worried about what our friends and family think of us. So sometimes maybe, it, maybe it might be easier to be in front of strangers. I don't know. I guess it's kind of a bunch, depends on your, um, life experience. <clears throat> I tend to be more comfortable around the people that I know. Um, except on here. On here, I don't really know everybody. Um, let's see. I don't mean to like just drop that topic, but I'm trying to figure out what, what am I going to put? The, these ones are kind of small but that one is like super big <laughs> like takes up my whole hand or my whole finger um I think I'm gonna go with the smaller I'm gonna go with the smaller one and hope it doesn't look too bad I think I've done this before but it was with a 
glitter overlay and you couldn't tell where it ended. Um, but I kind of like, I like the pattern of it. Um, let's see. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. That's fine. That's fine. Maybe I will use this one all the time. Like you can like the corners. That's okay though. I'm the only one who's going to notice it. I say that all the time. I am the only one. You are the only one who sees your nails that close. When people are looking at them and they're complimenting your nails, they're not seeing the little imperfections. They're looking at the overall look of it and seeing how fabulous, oh my gosh, how fabulous your nails are. I am really loving this. Oh, I wasn't sure how this was going to look. I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out. I had no idea how I was even going to lay this out, but I'm loving it. And now there's no glitter. Maybe I'll add a glitter later just to see what it looks like. <laughs> you know, I love glitter. It's just a pain to get off three layers though, especially if there's glitter involved. And it's not too hard with those clips though, with the nail polish remover clips. It's actually fairly easy. You just have to wait a little bit longer. Okay. And with that, I am finished. I do have a little bit. I got to clean up on this side because it's kind of hanging over. Um, but there we go. Oh my gosh. It is so good. So, so good. I... I am in love with this set. I am definitely going to save these leftovers. Um, again, there's no guarantee. They're one-time use, one-time use only. Um, but I only bought, I only have one other set. Um, I need to go grab some more before they sell out, if they haven't already. Um, all right. Uh, let me know what you think of the finished look. I will be posting it in my group either today or tomorrow. I'm not sure. Um, and I hope you all have a fabulous rest of your Tuesday. I hope you have a fabulous rest of your week and I will see you all next Tuesday. Make sure that you're in the Facebook group because I am trying to make it a habit now where I go live on Mondays and remove my nail polish. Um, and you can help me pick out my next manicure. Um, and just come, hang, ugh, just come hang out and chat. Um, and yeah, post your nail fees in there. Um, anyway, I will talk to you all later. I will see you next week. Bye friends.